Hey everyone, it's Tim from Your Sex Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to add custom overlays to your PlayStation or your Xbox live stream to Twitch. So let's go ahead, jump in the video right now. So that is right. If you're streaming directly from your console, you can easily add custom overlays or alerts. You can get a camera overlay or you can get a custom alert that pops up very easily so how would we go ahead and do this well let's jump over to my computer right now and i'll show you how to do that so you do need access to a web browser for this to work then in the url go to twitch.tv press enter sign in with your account in the upper right go to your profile and select it then go to creator dashboard and select this option then on the left let's scroll over to extensions then go over to discovery and go to search and type in overlay expert press enter then go to overlay expert and this says overlays and alerts for your stream without obs or a stream pc so you do not need a pc you just need a pc to customize it so once we have it selected and chosen, you will never need a PC again. So let's go to install, then select this, then go over to configure. Now we will see all our overlays. Now I've been playing around with this, so there is a bunch of them under my overlay so far. Now under the marketplace, let's go ahead and just choose an overlay to get started. Or you can create a custom one once you get a little bit more advanced. Now, some of these actually do have a price at the bottom. So this one's like 20 bucks. So be aware of that. Xbox Ambassadors, this one is free to customize and mess around with. So let's just do one that's free. Now, let's go to Blueprint right here and just customize this one right here. So let's go to Customize. And you will need to sign in in the upper right um, under your overlays with your Twitch account to kind of get this activated so it works with Twitch. So let's go to customize. So you can see my profile in the upper right. Now there is like a quick tutorial. You can go to yes and go through the small steps to follow along with that tutorial. I already did that, so I'm going to go to no. So here is my profile right here. Just go ahead and sign in with your Twitch account. And then you can go to my overlays at any point in time and check those out. So the first thing you kind of want to be aware about is your stream resolution down here for dimension. Now, if you go back over to your PlayStation, um, for the quality, I have mine set to 720p. So you want the dimension to match the quality under the, here. So make sure that is the same. Now, since it's going to be a little bit smaller on the screen, you may have to like move everything in words a little bit for these panels on the top. And you can kind of like drag these and drop them wherever you want. Just be aware of that. Now, if you don't see all the panels on there, you can always go to like um, 1080p and then it'll make everything a little bit bigger and then you can move everything around and then you can go to 720p once you have everything kind of moved around. So as you can see, everything kind of is a little bit too big for my screen all of a sudden. So I'm gonna drop and drag this over here and then I'm gonna go over to 1080p and then get the right panel and then I can drag it over here and then it should fit when I get everything into 720p. Perfect. So that's kind of how this looks. Now, this is just going to be a quick example. Now, everything is going to be perfect. So let's put this larger panel just like on the top right here. And boom. Perfect. So two things that we want to go ahead and add are like a camera overlay and maybe like our name up top right here. So let's go ahead and rename this first. For the title, it says Blueprint. Let's go to your six live stream and just name it that. So we know um, that this is the one we've been working on and editing. It's your six live stream. We can find that again at some point in time. You put a game in here. Let's put Rocket League just for the heck of it. And then uh, we can go to add new layer at the bottom. Go to the plus icon, select this. Now let's go to background right here. But first, let's go ahead and just name the layer that we're working on. And this will be our camera. So let's put camera in there and go to background and then go to select. Then go to 
by overlay. Now you can actually upload like your own one if you want, but I'm just gonna show you the ones that are free on here. And then scroll on down. Here are some free ones down here. Let's go to the check mark and I'll add it over here. And we can kind of make this bigger so we can see it. So what we can do is actually move this over to the right here. Now this doesn't need to be perfect. You can actually edit this and save it while you are live streaming and it will kind of like update while you're live streaming. So if you do not have this perfect, you can change this around while you're live streaming. So it will make it really easy. Now one thing we do have is this new content kind of like word over it. So once we back out, we can always go back to our camera layer right here. Now let's go ahead and get rid of that new content thing. So let's go to content and then scroll down under here. Now let's go ahead and just get rid of this. It says new content item right here. Now you can like rename this if you want to put like your six gaming in here. Boom. And then you can kind of like position this. Otherwise you can just completely de delete the uh, the words that are on your camera overlay by going to here and just going to delete. Otherwise you can keep it and then you can kind of like edit this around a little bit. Now it says uh, alignment left. We can go to center and just put that in the center and we can kind of put in the center here or the bottom wherever we want it. So if we have it on the bottom right there, it's not really easy to read. What we could do is put like um, an overlay, like an outline to it so we can read it. So let's put an outline to the white and then put maybe like a five in there. So that is way too big. Let's just put one. Now we can kind of read it, right? So that's kind of an example of that. But let's add a new layer at the bottom here. Go to the plus icon. And then let's go down to content. And then scroll on down until we get to the new content item. Let's go ahead and select this and put your six gaming in here and make this bigger. Perfect. Now let's scroll up to the top and let's go back to the size. So let's put maybe 70 in here. Boom. We may need to make this window a little bit bigger so we can see it all. Perfect. And let's drop and drag it right in the middle right here. So we kind of have that right there. Now I'm just going to go to, uh, where is that? Let's go to the horizontal position and just kind of align it in the center. So that looks good right there. Okay. Now let's go to a shadow. Let's add a shadow in here and just bump this up a little bit. Maybe add like a, a red shadow to it. Okay, you can't really see that too much, so we can bump it up a little bit more. So that's kind of cool. Now let's go back to the outline. I always like having outlines on my stuff. Go back to another white outline and put one in there. So this is kind of what that looks like right up there. So this is just an example, a quick example. And then you can change the font here too. Uh, let's just choose some random font. So yeah, that one looks good, right? Now let's go to the check mark up top and that is now added. So this is a quick example. Make sure we save it right here, this little cloud icon or go to file and go to save. So this is now saved and you'll see it saved when this is done spinning in the top right. And it's just about done. There it is, it is saved. But let's go back over to Twitch where our extension page is. So if you can't find this again, go to twitchtv.com. Our profile, creator dashboard. And then go to extensions. Go to my extensions. And here's all my extensions. Now I already have this activated. So what we want to do is go to overlay expert and make sure we have it set as layer one. And then go to done. So it should be under installed. Once you set to overlay one, it will get moved to activated. So let's go to overlay experts now. Go to configure. And then choose a overlay. So let's see, where's the one we were working on? Your six live stream and choose this. Once we choose this and we have this selected as overlay one under Twitch, my extensions, it will be automatically set as your overlay now. So anytime you live stream from your PlayStation or Xbox, 
it's going to be showing up on your screen. So like I said, you can customize this while you're live streaming. So if you go to here, go to configure, and then you go to the one that you selected and go to edit and have this open, you can make adjustments while you're live streaming. So let's just keep this up and then go over to um, my PlayStation right now. And then let's just start up a broadcast in Minecraft. So let's go to broadcast and start. And I'll show you. So this is a live stream. I'm live. Then I'm going to open up twitch.com on my computer. So let's do that right now. I'll show you how it looks. Let's go to my channel right now. And this should be live right now in just a couple seconds. So here it is. Your six gaming, and there's my camera over there on the right, and you can kind of see people coming in. So this is this is really really cool. This is neat, and you can see overlay experts right here. If someone is using it, you can just click on it, and you can edit this live. So let's go over here and just move my camera to the left, like my camera layer right there, and go to save. And once this is done layer saving, it should take um, maybe a couple seconds for it to update over here. So watch it. It's going to move from over here since I saved it all the way over here. So let's try to get this guy in my camera. Boom. I have him kind of in the camera layer right now, that um, villager. Oh, he just moved out of it. So you can update it if your camera isn't exactly where it should be. This is really cool, guys. But if this video did indeed help you out go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos related to the playstation or xbox coming up next on your six studios